We are now going to be performing the circumduction test. Let's all understand the patient has come into the clinic with a complaint of shoulder issues. We're leaning towards believing he has instability somewhere. I'm actually going to circumduct his arm, which is a little bit difficult if you are vastly littler than your patient. Doing this entire test to assess posterior instability. <laughs> no, sir, I can handle you. <laughs> the circumduction test, I'm actually going to have some stability on his posterior shoulder, we are assessing for posterior shoulder instability. I am going to start in shoulder extension and I'm going to simply circumduct his arm. Stabilizing here, feeling for what's going on. So you don't want to rush the movement, but I'm now going to extend his arm. I can feel a lot going on. He has a lot of crepitus, mainly as his shoulder and his humeral head comes anterior. As I push his humeral head up superior direction, just the axial load. There's a lot of crunchiness. Oh, you're activating. You didn't relax. Right there's where you get crunchy. Kind of came down a bit. Do you need me to sit down? No, I don't. I will see that.